today you're going to learn how to export videos in DaVinci Resolve for 2024. Not only am I going to show you the best export settings for YouTube, but social media as well. All right, so once you're done, fully done with your project, you've done all your cutting and your color correction and all your fusion composites, what you wanna do is come down here to the Deliver tab at the bottom of your screen. Select Deliver. Up here at the top left-hand corner of your screen, you'll see a few presets. Select the H.265 Master. You want to name your file, and then select the location of where you want to save it. Underneath that, we have render options to render a single clip or individual clips in our timeline. In most cases, you want to just leave this as default. Select the video option. Under the export video option here, you have format. I leave it QuickTime. For the Kodak, we want to leave this default for H.265. There's a lot of reasons why. It's just better quality, trust me. Leave hardware acceleration if available selected. I leave network optimization turned off. And as far as the resolution goes, I work in a 1920 by 1080 timeline sometimes. So in this case, I want to export in 4K. I will click on the drop down arrow and select 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. Now, when you go to export, you may get a notice saying that you're trying to export at a higher resolution than your timeline. Just accept it. That's totally fine. I'm going to leave the frame rate default at 29.97. And under the quality options here, by default, automatic is selected. You want to actually select the restrict to option. And a good rule of thumb here is to double the frame rate for this number here. So in this case, it's 30 frames per second, so it's 60,000. If your project is at 24 frames per second, you should enter in 48,000. I leave these two options unselected. The encoding profile, you can actually select main 422.10 to get highest quality, but you can get away with just the default setting. I leave everything else here by default. And under the advanced tab, you want to leave the pixel aspect ratio at square, the data levels left at auto, the color space tag left as same as project, but the gamma tag, at least for Apple users, you want to click on the drop down and select Rec 709A. That is so your video doesn't look washed out when you open it in QuickTime compared to your DaVinci Resolve project. Now, as far as these options down here, you can select use optimized media or use proxy media, use rendered cache images if you want to export at the quality that your project was set to when you use these options. For example, if you come down here to the right hand side and you go under the master settings, you can see these are my optimized media format and render cache settings. I personally like to use this just to work in a project so my project flows quicker, but I don't necessarily want to export my project with these settings. So in my case, in most cases, you want to leave these all unchecked. Now here's some options here, force sizing to highest quality and force debayer to highest quality. Now I'm pretty sure these settings only really pertain to raw footage, but I don't think it'll hurt anything if you select these when you go to export your footage. Now scroll back up and let's do the audio. Now there's some really awesome things in the audio tab for 2024. Under the codec, you can actually select linear PCM. I'm not gonna get into it, but it's a better audio quality. And as far as the sample rate, I'm gonna leave it 48,000. And bit depth, I'm going to actually select 24. If you're trying to upload to YouTube, DaVinci Resolve now has an audio normalization feature. YouTube is expecting a certain loudness when you export your video. And depending on how loud or quiet it is, sometimes YouTube will actually take it onto themselves to get your volume levels to be the appropriate volume loudness which essentially kind of distorts and makes your audio quality not as good when they have to do it. So if you select the normalize audio option here, you can click on the drop down menu under mode and select the YouTube preset. It's exactly what you need to put it at no matter what your entire mix looks like in your Fairlight tab, DaVinci Resolve will level it before you actually even export it. So it's Perfect. And then lastly, which is the most important part of this entire process, is you want to scroll to the very beginning of where you want to start your render and push I on your keyboard. Then go to the point where you want to end the render and push O on your keyboard. This will render out everything that you want in between these two points. Then select Add to Render Queue and click Render. Now as far as social media goes, I'll show you how to quickly do that. So I have this 1080 by 1920 landscape shot. 
I'm going to come over here to the cut tab, come up here to the right hand side, click on this drop down and select the portrait option. I'll do any reframing I need to make sure it fits within this vertical format. Then over on the deliver tab, I'm going to do the exact same settings, but under the audio tab, I'm going to click on the normalize audio and then turn it back on. And the target loudness should be negative 16 for Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Then select add to render queue, select render all, and you're good to go.